If a green arrow turns into a solid green light, you a. May still turn, but you must yield to oncoming traffic. b. May no longer turn and must proceed straight. c. Still have the right of way to turn. d. No longer have to turn in the direction that the arrow indicated. a. May still turn, but you must yield to oncoming traffic. If a green arrow turns into a solid green light, you may still turn in the direction that the arrow was pointing but you must first yield to pedestrians and oncoming traffic. If you are driving near a large commercial vehicle, you should a. Follow the large vehicle closely to reduce wind drag on your vehicle. b. Avoid driving beside it for long stretches of time. C. Drive on its right side when on curves and hills. B. Avoid driving beside it for long stretches of time. Because large commercial vehicles have large blind spots on each side, you should avoid driving beside them for long periods of time. This sign means A. Traffic signal ahead. B. Stop. C. Yield the right of way. A. Traffic signal ahead. This sign warns of of an approaching traffic signal. When steering a vehicle, A. Both hands should be placed on the outside of the steering wheel on opposite sides. B. Use a firm but gentle grip on the steering wheel, using your fingers and not your palms. C. All of the above. C. All of the above. Your hands should be placed on opposite sides the steering wheel with your thumbs aiming up. Grip the wheel gently but firmly, using your fingers rather than your palms. Turn the steering wheel by gripping the outside of the wheel, not the inside. Want to issue DMV test? Go to CheatSheets.com and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. This road sign means A. Side road. B. Keep to the side indicated by the arrow. C. You may drive in the left lane. D. You have the right of way. B. Keep to the side indicated by the arrow. This is a, keep right, sign. It indicates that a traffic island, median, or barrier is ahead and that drivers must keep to the right of it. At intersections with a, yield, sign, you must. A. Yield the right of way to cross traffic that is near enough to cause conflict. B. Yield the right of way only to vehicles on your right. C. Always slow down and proceed without stopping. A. Yield the right of way to cross traffic that is near enough to cause conflict. At a yield sign, you must slow down or stop, if necessary, and give the right of way to crossing or merging vehicles. Yield the right of way to any cross traffic that is close enough to cause conflict. No zones are areas around trucks where cars a. disappear into blind spots b. have sufficient space for traveling behind and passing trucks c. can try to squeeze around the truck when the truck makes a wide turn a. disappear into blind spots Large trucks and buses have large blind spots to the sides, the rear, and the front. These areas are referred to as no zones. Drivers of smaller vehicles should avoid lingering in these areas because they will be invisible to the truck driver and may also restrict the truck driver's ability to stop or maneuver safely. When stopped at a red traffic light with a green arrow, you may proceed in the direction of the arrow if you a. First come to a complete stop. b. Wait until the light changes. c are in the proper lane and the intersection is clear.
C, are in the proper lane and the intersection is clear. You may proceed in the direction that a green arrow signal is pointing if you are in the proper lane, regardless of any other signals that are displayed. Before turning, you must yield the right of way to pedestrians and vehicles already within the intersection. When parallel parking between two cars, you should first a. Turn your wheels to the left. b. Turn your wheels to the right. c. Pull up even with the car in front of your desired parking space. d. Back slowly. c. Pull up even with the car in front of your desired parking space. After finding a parking space, checking traffic, and signaling, you should stop parallel to the vehicle directly ahead of your desired parking space before turning your wheel to park. A fully loaded tractor trailer traveling at 55 miles per hour could take up to fill in the blank to come to a complete stop. A. 50 feet. B. 125 feet. C. 400 feet. D. 750 feet. C. 400 feet. Tractor trailers take longer distances to stop than smaller cars traveling at the same speed. A fully loaded tractor trailer may take almost 400 feet to come to a complete stop when driving at 55 miles per hour. Any amount of alcohol in the blood may affect a driver's a. Right-of-way privileges b. Judgment and physical coordination c. Knowledge b. Judgment and physical coordination A driver's ability to safely operate a vehicle may be impaired at any BAC level, even a level lower than the legal limit. Any amount of alcohol can affect one's judgment and physical coordination. Driving under the influence of even a small amount of alcohol can lead to criminal charges. As you are driving on a two-lane highway, you approach a school bus that is stopped with its red lights flashing. You. A. May pass if the way is clear. B. May pass if a pedestrian indicates that the way is clear. C. May not pass until the school bus driver turns off the flashing lights and continues driving. D. Must turn on your emergency flashers. C. May not pass until the school bus driver turns off the flashing lights and continues driving. Drivers are required to stop for a stopped school bus when driving on a two-lane road, regardless of which direction they are traveling. After passing a vehicle, it is safe to return to your driving lane when a. The driver you passed signals for you to return to your lane. b. You signal your intention for three seconds. c. You see the headlights of the passed vehicle in your rearview mirror. c. You see the headlights of the passed vehicle in your rearview mirror. Before you return to your driving lane, be sure you are not dangerously close to the vehicle you have just passed. One way to do this is to look for the vehicle in your inside rearview mirror. When you can see both headlights in your rearview mirror, you may have enough room to return to your driving lane. Which lane must you be in before making a left turn from a one-way street? A. The lane nearest the left curb. B. The lane nearest the center of the street. C. The lane nearest the right curb. A. The lane nearest the left curb. When making any turn, turn from the lane closest to the direction you wish to travel into the first available legal lane. If you are making a left turn from a one-way street, this means that you would make the turn from the lane nearest to the left curb. What color are pavement markings that separate traffic lanes moving in opposite direction? A. Yellow. B. White. C. Yellow and white.
D. Yellow, white, and black. A. Yellow. Yellow lines are used in the center of the road to separate lanes of traffic moving in opposite directions. If an emergency vehicle with flashing lights is traveling in the area where you are driving, you should A. Speed up to avoid the emergency vehicle. B. Stop your vehicle immediately and prevent them from passing. C. Make every effort to give the emergency vehicle a clear path of travel. D. Signal to the emergency vehicle when it is clear for them to pass you. C. Make every effort to give the emergency vehicle a clear path of travel. If an emergency vehicle with flashing lights is traveling in the area where you are driving, you must make every effort to give them a clear path of travel. If it is safe to do so, pull your vehicle to the side of the road to give the emergency vehicle an open pathway. This road sign means A. Sharp turn to the right. B. Double curve. C. Winding road. D. Pavement ends. C. Winding road. This sign indicates that the road ahead winds with a series of turns or curves. When used on roadways, bicycles are considered A. Hazards B. Vehicles C. Dangerous B. Vehicles Bicycles are considered vehicles when used on roadways. Bicyclists and motorists are expected to follow the same rules of the road. When driving under low visibility conditions due to fog, you should A. Turn on your high beam headlights. B. Slow down and use your low beam headlights. C. Increase your speed so you do not cause an accident. B. Slow down and use your low beam headlights. When driving in fog, you should slow down and use your low beam lights. If the fog is so dense that you cannot see, pull off the road and wait for the fog to clear. Alcohol is the single greatest common factor in fatal motor vehicle crashes. A. True. B. False. A. True. Alcohol is the number one killer on American roadways. Alcohol affects a person's vision and slows their reaction time, so it takes longer to act in an emergency. Alcohol affects a person's driving even if they are below the level of illegal intoxication. This sign means A. Lane ends. B. No right turn. C. Slippery when wet. D. Two-way traffic. A. Lane ends. Warning signs prepare drivers for upcoming road conditions and hazards and are usually yellow and black. This sign tells drivers that a lane is ending and that they should prepare to allow traffic to merge safely. You have allowed the wheels of your vehicle to run off the edge of the pavement. What should you do first? A. Turn the front wheels slightly to the left to edge the car back onto the pavement. B. Hold the steering wheel firmly, release the gas pedal, and gently apply the brakes. C. Apply the brakes and turn the front wheels sharply to the left. B. Hold the steering wheel firmly, release the gas pedal, and gently apply the brakes. If your vehicle leaves the roadway, hold the steering wheel firmly, release the gas pedal, and gently apply the brakes. Wait until your speed has reduced, check the traffic, and look for a place to safely return to the roadway by merging back into traffic. Overcompensating by jerking the wheel to return to the roadway can cause you to lose control of your vehicle or may cause your car to go into other lanes of traffic. If you become stranded in a snowstorm, the best thing to do is to 
A. Get out of the car and go for help. B. Lay down in your car and go to sleep. C. Walk into the road and get the attention of other drivers. D. Stay in the car, as you are most likely to be found when you stay in your vehicle. D. Stay in the car, as you are most likely to be found when you stay in your vehicle. If you become stranded in a snowstorm, the best thing to do is stay in your car and wait for help. You are most likely to be found if you don't leave your vehicle. Additionally, it may be unsafe to walk around outside in a snowstorm. Drinking alcohol and driving is? A. A minor traffic safety problem. B. A serious traffic safety problem. C. Safe if you have only had a few drinks. D. Only dangerous to the driver who drinks. B. A serious traffic safety problem. Driving while impaired or intoxicated is a serious traffic safety problem. Safe driving is not possible when you drink alcohol or take other drugs. Driving under the influence is dangerous both to you and to others on the road. How fast you drive does not affect the distance your vehicle travels after you brake to come to a stop. A. True. B. False. B. False. When driving in high-speed traffic, it is extremely important to stay well behind the vehicle in front of you. As your speed increases, the distance it will take for your vehicle to stop also increases. Backing your vehicle is A. Always dangerous. B. Dangerous if you have a helper. C. Only dangerous in large vehicles. A. Always dangerous. Backing up is always dangerous because it is hard to see behind your vehicle. Use extra caution when backing up. Excessive speed? A. Does not increase the chance of a crash. B. Increases your ability to react to a hazard. C. Often leads to high-risk decision-making. C. Often leads to high-risk decision-making. Excessive speed is one of the most common contributing factors to vehicle crashes. Excessive speed does not save time and often leads to high-risk decision-making. A driver that operates a vehicle on South Carolina roadways has already agreed to submit to a chemical test when requested by a law enforcement officer. A. True. B. False. A. True. South Carolina has an implied consent law. This means that by driving in the state, you give your consent to take a chemical test for intoxication, if called upon to do so. You are driving on a highway divided by two solid yellow lines. You may a. Cross these lines only to make a left turn into or from an alley, private road, or driveway. b. Cross these lines to pass other vehicles, but only if there is no oncoming traffic. c. Cross these lines under no circumstances. d. Cross these lines only to make a U-turn. a. Cross these lines only to make a left turn into or from an alley, private road, or driveway. Double solid yellow lines are used to mark roadways where passing is prohibited from both directions. You may cross these lines only to make a left turn into or from an alley, private road, or driveway. On a freeway, you should look farther ahead than you would on a city street. A. In order to see potential hazards early. B. Because it takes a quarter of a mile to stop your vehicle completely. C. Because it helps you keep up with traffic.